The Holy Spirit wants to use your new nature to do this in you. But he says, take heed how you hear. Because if you hear right, you're going to expose the thorns and the rocks and get them out and go on to be good ground. But if you're not hearing the word right, then it's those stones and those thorns that are causing you not to hear the word correctly. Remember, he says, take heed how you hear. Um, clearly, the parable of the sower uh, speaks to one can lose their salvation. Uh, wayside, stony, and thorny all uh, can lose their salvation. Of course, the wayside seed um, doesn't get salvation to begin with. And notice how Jesus starts his teaching on the parable of the sower. He says, I preach in parables that in seeing they see not, and in hearing they hear not. And that sounds kind of strange, but what he's saying is that when they hear the gospel, they hear the word of the kingdom, they see it and they hear it, but in choosing not to accept it, they're hardened in their excuse not to take it. So they see it, yet they see not. They hear it, yet they hear not. So these people are choosing not to receive the gospel. They're hardened in that lost state. And now notice after he talks about wayside, stony, thorny, and good ground. He talks about the light of a candle. He said, nobody uh, lights a candle and puts it under a bushel. So what does a candle do? It lights everything in a dark room. So after you're born again, you have the light of the new nature. And what the Holy Spirit wants to do is use that light to expose all the stones and the rocks in you to get them out. That's why he goes on to say, whoever has ears to hear, more shall be given. Whoever does not have ears to hear, then what they have is taken away. He's speaking again, just like before the parable, when he said people who hear the gospel, but yet reject it, they're judged inside the ability not to receive it. They've chosen not to receive it. They see it, but in seeing it not, they're hardened in that state to see it not. Well, the same thing is happening um, after he talks about the uh, wayside, stony, thorny, and good ground. He says this light is exposing everything in you that is rocky and thorny. The Holy Spirit wants to use your new nature to do this in you. But he says, take heed how you hear. Because if you hear right, you're going to expose the thorns and the rocks and get them out and go on to be good ground. But if you're not hearing the word right, then it's those stones and those thorns that are causing you not to hear the word correctly. Remember, he says, take heed how you hear. Then he says, what you have will be taken away. In Luke 8's version, he says, those who don't have ears to hear. He says, even that which you seem to have is taken away. So what that speaks to is that their salvation can be absolutely taken away, leaving them in a position where they think they have salvation, but they do not. Um, you know, so again, uh, the parable of the sower, stony and thorny ground clearly teaches that um, there can be an absolute regression back to the lost state. And uh, check below um, in my description, very important information um, that'll shed some more light um, on this topic, plus um, five really healthy uh, ministries that won't steer you into the ditch of legalism, but nor will they steer you into the ditch of a greasy grace. Um, you can go right down the road of righteousness and, um, and then be a kind of uh, bride washed and clean and ready for the marriage supper. Uh, so anyway, check below.